Hi, I'm Graham Stacey, the Property Claims Broker Relationship Manager at LV, and I wanted to share my top tips on how we can work together to help reduce malicious damage claims. Malicious damage is a topic which is easily misunderstood, which is why I think it's important to clarify exactly what it is. To put it simply, with commercial property owners cover, the damage has to be intentional rather than accidental. However, landlords often mistake tenant's lifestyle for malicious damage. For example, when a tenant doesn't look after a property as well as they expect. Malicious damage is a bigger issue than we may initially think. To really paint the picture, in the last year we've dealt with 638 malicious damage claims and of the 514 that we've settled to date, the average cost was £3,400, which is double the average claims cost across all of our perils put together. So it's really worth working together to try and reduce this. As a broker, there are a number of ways in which you can help to reduce the risk of malicious damage claims by encouraging your commercial property customers to undertake a few basic checks. For residential lettings, it's wise for the landlord or the managing agent to request references and check them out thoroughly. Encourage your customers to inspect let properties regularly. They should also ensure that premises are secured when they are unoccupied, for example overnight or weekends. Make your customers aware that they should take a deposit to cover damage which is not due to insured perils. Tell them to check properties urgently if a tenant stops paying their rent, as this could indicate that the tenant has left the property unoccupied, which could make it a target for theft and vandalism. Quite often, malicious damage could have been avoided with better risk management up front. For instance, we've seen claims for damage caused by cannabis farms, which could have been avoided if the references have been checked out. We've seen things like forged bank statements or previous addresses that didn't actually exist or turned out to be carpet warehouses. These pictures relate to a claim for extensive damage to a property caused when it was used as a cannabis farm. The initial reserve was £10,000. It's important to remember that some LV policy wordings, for example our LV residential property owners and policy investor policies, stipulate that written references must be obtained by the landlord or anyone acting on their behalf, verified and presented at claim stage or there is no cover for malicious damage by tenants. In this instance, the insured advised LV that he had obtained references, but despite repeated reminders, he was unable to produce them and the claim was declined. We're really keen to work with you to reduce these types of claims, so if you'd like to discuss this or anything else with me, please do get in touch. Thank you.